New York, the Bronx, in a city being reimagined coming out of the Second World War, infrastructure projects reshape everything. These expressways are being paid for out of federal and state funds with some city contributions. Working class European immigrants in the South Bronx use GI Bill era incentives to move to the suburbs as eminent domain claims their neighborhoods. Trying to understand that, that uh, if, uh, you have to move a lot of people out of the way of a big housing uh, project or a slum clearance project uh, or out of the way of uh, an approach to a bridge, uh, that uh, they're not, a lot of them are not going to like it. Migrants from the segregated South and the Puerto Rican Commonwealth take up residence in what's left behind, changing the demographics. Soon after, redlining of South Bronx neighborhoods further depresses property values. The communities that remain suffer through years of decline until the greatest financial crisis to hit any city grips New York and the hardships mount. The books were balanced based upon a procedure and a bookkeeping setup which had been in existence for decades. The South Bronx becomes a symbol of American decline. And since the services the city provides are essentially services to the poor in large measure, um, the poor will suffer most. The public sector sees it as a burden to bear. Wagner says casually, close 200 schools. You don't close a school only, you close down a whole neighborhood. The private sector is playing the long game. Using tax incentives what the fuck to, to give the people who will take jobs, the people who will come in here and build businesses, that will give them an incentive to come in because they'll get a tax break. While the community does whatever it can to survive. We get involved in community affairs. We get involved in things that affect our community. We get involved in issues such as hospital close down. We get involved in issues such as police brutality. We get involved in issues that affect the community, that affect us immediately. It's immediate when your hospital closed down. It's immediate when your school closed down. It's immediate when your building burns. It's immediate. Cross Bronx Expressway from GMT Games models the rich history of the South Bronx from 1940 to 2000 as a competitive economic city builder with collective loss conditions. Infrastructure will be built and demolished, coalitions formed and abandoned, populations housed and displaced, and the vulnerable encouraged and discarded, while three asymmetric factions, public, private, and community, struggle to stay out of debt and achieve their own objectives.